Hello and welcome to another Jiu-Jitsu match commentary. We're going to be watching this match right here. Started filming a little late, so some action already happened. Now notice that the guy in the long pants, when he shoots, the guy in the shorts takes a long time to get back up when he sprawls. See? And right there. He didn't get back up fast enough. So the guy in the long pants was able to... Right here. He stays down. So this guy can shoot back in. Whenever you sprawl, you always have to get right back up quickly. Now this guy with the long pants gets the takedown. He gets points for a takedown. The guy in the shorts tries to set up a triangle, but to no avail, obviously. He's just laying on his back right now, which is not the greatest position to be. Usually when you're playing open guard, you want to set up on your butt. Laying down on your back and just playing footsies is not a great idea because you get into this sort of position. And there are a lot of things that the, the, the passing guy can do from here. Of course, he doesn't capitalize on it. But this guy's still laying back on his back. That's not a good idea. And look how long he takes to get back up to his feet. It always pays to be explosive with the stand-up and wrestling stuff. If you sprawl, get back up as fast as you can. Look at how quickly the guy in the pants gets back up. Now, he made a mistake here, though. It's not a good idea to just accept guard when you get a takedown. Uh, of course, he's still going to get points, obviously. He just got another two points for the takedown. But it puts you in a dangerous position if you take your opponent down and just fall into their guard. Let me rewind a second more. <clears throat> so he had control of the guy's right leg. And... Let's, let's go back just a second more. So he gets control of the right leg. Can't take him down because he's basing out with the left leg. So he pulls in the left leg. That's great. But he lets go of it so the guy can open up his legs and reclaim his guard. Meanwhile, this guy's just... The guy in the long pants is content to just sit down on his knees and accept the guard. Not a great move. He should have gotten up and started to try some standing passes. Look at that lazy takedown. Not a great move. But with only 15 seconds left on the clock, what else? But <laughs> even though he, he, he shot in for a takedown and sat back, the other guy gets points. See, he shoots in and then tries to pull guard. But since the guy in the long pants had control, green, since he had control, he's getting points for the takedown. So whenever you pull guard, like, every organization is different, but you always have to demonstrate some level of control if you're trying to pull guard or else your opponent will get points for a takedown. I that's just the way it is.